kind of like pigs and all, but gang, look at this. Okay, <laughs> okay we have the, the third. I don't. Um, okay. Uh, linkability. <laughs> Angela Irene with Aged Goodness. Thanks so much for being here today. Today I'm joined by the Mister. Hey. hey. Um, this box, if you haven't been with us um, before, this is a box that my mom has already cleaned and sorted for us. We have no idea what's in it. Uh, she's so cute. She takes the bags that they're lined with and then ties them up. This box has been here since September of 2019. Here her little tape says done, 225.20. I think it's time we do this box. It's been a while. It says Boho Oakland, 16 pounds. There you go. Perfect. All right, the mister's gonna slice and dice our tape. How cute is this? Done. Oh, this one too. All right. Just. Oh man. Oh, here, do the top. Okay, got here. There <laughs> she did a good taping job. <laughs> she does. She's trying to keep us out until it's time. All right. Okay. Looks like we've got some great boho to start with. I'm going to go ahead and reposition the camera down so we get a little closer shot. And the mister then will start handing and opening stuff. All right. Well, let's start with the easiest. The bracelets that are right on top. Um, boho usually is wood and like brass. I think this whole group is probably uh, made in India. Probably gonna have that same kind of look. Some polishing and I think, oh, this one is in really nice shape. Um, we'll do good for these guys here. Kind of the plastic, you know, uh, looks like the lace is embedded so that's kind of cool at least it's not going to snag a lot of times you'll see it on the outside which is uh, not good for the bracelet this one is wooden looks like a roll of tape it does 1993 oh like a roll I, of decorative tape i wonder if somebody did this for like you know as an art project or, or camp maybe. or but it's yeah. the fact that it's dated is sad i mean somebody did it there's a lot of detail in the a little work right here though it's cute though um boy you gotta have a tiny little wrist but you know it's in really nice shape these are in really nice shape a lot of times these bracelets are not in good shape um i'm not sure why you know they thought this nice sparkly thing is boho but it's somebody will enjoy it disco-y it yeah, yeah so <laughs> it back in the disco that would have been just fine <laughs> Uh, this is a woven bracelet. Very nice. Nice detail. See the pattern on that. Okay. Isn't that cool? All right. And this cuff is in, boy, it's heavy and it is in beautiful shape. Nice. That's There's Cleopatra-esque. It, it is. Oh, and a bendy. Here we go again. You know what? Mom worked so hard, I'm, gonna, I'm not even going to touch it. Uh, the last time it was a nice uh, high polished silver. This one's got that copper look to it. Very nice. Okay, coming up with the next group. All right. Put that over here for you. Okay, it looks like we have. All right, these are plastic, wooden, and then you have acrylic. I love the shape. So we have two acrylic. And this one is two. So some nice fashion beads, and then, okay, so these could either be Buckeyes or the Kukui from. Yeah, I don't think that's Kukui. I don't think so, like Buckeyes maybe, because yeah. of the color. All right. Okay, well, this has a pretty good knot in it. it uh, they're fashion pearls, there's nothing. Well, okay. <laughs> well, you know, I mean, there's, there's, they're fashion. I mean, they're, they're not glass. They're just, they're plastic. These, however, take a look at these. We've got some freshwater pearls, some beautiful rondelles, a little bit of crystal, but 
Yeah, these are gritty and they have a magnetic clasp. Oh. Nice. So these are nice. I mean, even if you don't like the configuration, boy, there's some good bits and parts right here. Nice. All right, the inevitable bangle lot. Let's see what's in this. Was this part of the pearl set? Yeah. Yeah, those ones were together. Okay. And the group that you gave me, and then this is group two. Got it. Okay. All right, so these are really pretty. Okay, there's a set of three. Beautiful little rhinestones, and we have this black enameling. Okay, so that's a set. Fashion. That's cute. Oh, this looks like a like a knockoff of a Sergio Lub. Uh, there's no um, magnets or anything here, but those those are in pretty good shape. Sorry, dear. Um, yeah, that one's in okay shape. It looks like these three are together. Not bad. And you know, some brass looking ones and then a fashion one. Not too bad. Those are decent looking bangles. All right, let's see what group you gave me now. Oh dear. <laughs> okay, hang on gang. Let's see. Here. I think this one. <clears throat> oh! That one looks like it's gonna be okay. Oh, I thought these were, okay, these are, these are one necklace. I thought, this, okay, let's pull it through. I thought we had two necklaces here. There's a lot going on here. Wow. Okay, so we have a nice little drop, great little mixed media, nice shape. Um, lobster claw looks great. Okay, that is a nice piece. Okay, every, mm. Okay. Oh, there we here go. we go. Okay. All right, let's see here. Wow. Okay, there's a lot going on here, too. Wow. Okay. This is like, oh, maybe like 40 inches. This is long. Uh, swinging about your head and take down, you know. <laughs> take out your enemies. Um, hello, I'm hitting lights. This thing is so long, you guys. Uh, it's endless. I don't see a... Class, you wouldn't need one with the length being this long, but that's yeah. in pretty good shape too. Okay. Kind of interesting, yeah. Hmm. Okay, does anybody know who has this little hang tag with this little flower? I don't know. It's not marked. Okay, this has like that brass tone, silver tone. This is a nice piece. I like that piece. It's different. What is this? Oh, I thought this was fabric. Guys, this is not fabric. This is metal. Cool deal here. Now, it's an interesting fashion piece. If you want something that looks, like I said, fabric or made of, a, you know, something like that isn't a metal-esque with your fashion, that would work. Look at the, wow, the gang, this is long you know, too. Like, like a sweater or something. Yeah. You know, something that would tie in more like a scarfy kind of a. And look, you could hmm. double this up and yeah. still be. That, yeah, that's interesting. <clears throat> Way long and so much more durable than fabric. Ah, I like this piece. Yeah, that is cool. That's a nice piece. Nice. Okay, now it looks like she's moving into leather. Oh, this is, look at this, that's pretty. Not that you just haven't seen it because you opened the bag, but yep. dang. Clack. I know, yeah, it's got a nice closure. Look mm. at that. I like how it crisscrosses too. I like that. That's, that's, yeah. And you know what, this is a really nice shape. Look at the leather, it doesn't look like, you know, anybody's worn Any it. It doesn't have any wear, yeah. That's gorgeous. Mm. Cool. standard type yeah. like punching that's nice too little different uh, shape there than we're used to seeing okay yeah, it's got like a gecko so, huh. these ones are always in these boxes and this one is BCBG <clears throat> uh, a lot of times you'll see these by uh, Yik Fung but that's in pretty good shape too. Wow. But then too, you have to remember gang, we talked about this a little bit in the chat uh, on the last video we did. This box has been here for a long time 
And the boxes that we have seen lately just don't have the quality that our old boxes. And I'm lucky that mom still is hanging on to like four boxes because of COVID. No one's gotten together. Um, so we still have some nice, I like this. Oh, there's another one here. Finish sentence. Sorry. <laughs> um, see, he's going to keep me on track, gang that we still have older boxes. The newer boxes, they just yank out so much more of this cool stuff. Semi-vintage boxes. Yes. Because they've been here for a while. Yes. Um, we're, but you know, we're slowly getting through them. You know what, these two are both gorgeous. Mm. I love those. Oh, nice. Nice. Wow. That's uh -huh. a good uh, thacker. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Um, very kind of brutalist on this piece. The diameter is very small. Yeah, it, yeah look at this. Oh, three fingers. That's about it. <laughs> uh, new with tags from Claire's. Six bucks? They wanted six dollars for this. Hmm. Okay. Uh, all right. Well, there's handwoven craftsmanship in it. Okay, there you go. But come on, Claire. Oh, okay. Same thing, kind of a bullwhip design. You know? Yeah. Weave. Oh, a mark. Weave. Yeah. Hang on, there's a mark. There's a mark. X Ford Ivy. Okay. Well, this is X Ford Ivy. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh -huh. Oh, you know, this very dainty. This would be a great layering piece. Uh, yeah. Shambhala closure, yeah. easy to put on and off. Yeah, hand woven, so. I, that bag Takes is a the great, time. Yeah, yeah, that bag is a great little bag. Okay, this one is kind of stretched, but <clears throat> we have the religious depictions here. Uh, I will probably end up putting this in a craft bag. It does have a little more stretch than I like to sell, but still, uh, the Somebody pictures. Somebody could look, utilize those into another form. Yeah, absolutely. The pictures are nice and bright, so that's woohoo. Hey, you know what? We have a lot of these, but this. I love that color. I, anybody can wear this color. Gorgeous. You know, like the hot pinks and stuff. Maybe not maybe, you know, everybody's style, but that one is a great color. Oh, nice little memory stretch. Really colorful. Great for spring. You know, light. Okay, this one has a little bit of mixed bag here. We've got some glass beads, some wooden beads. And it looks like, is that a mar? Let us look. Could just be a little charm. Uh, just a little charm. Oh, there's another one on this side. Okay, and a few little charms. And no box would be complete <laughs> without one of the magnetic deals. Uh, this can be a bracelet. It can be a necklace. It can be an anklet. That's a necklace. It can. Oh, be. it comes apart. I yes, get it. it okay. Does. I'll say. Okay, you show me some of the neck that's small. <laughs> and I guarantee you, poor mom had a heyday with this because these they attach to everything. But I like the color. Mm -hmm. Nice color. Ooh. Okay, we have dyed shell. Looks like we have like the Murano style glass beads. Little cat's eye, little tiger's eye going on there. Not and stretch. Very fall-esque. It is. I'm I miss fall already. Gang, <laughs> we're, gang, we're gonna have like 70 degrees here this week. This is insanity. Just had Valentine's Day and we're gonna have uh, 70 degrees. Uh, these are acrylic. Both of those. Pretty. Nice little duo. Let's see what we got going on here. This. It looks like we have some fashion glass. These look like, like artisan made because they don't have like a true shape to them. They're kind of, and then, hmm. These aren't thin like a he-she bead, but they're nice and tiny. Some kind of stone. Beautiful. I'm definitely artisan made there, I'm gonna say. Okay, and the, the I don't know, why is this boho? Hmm. <laughs> I'm not sure why this is boho. Okay, we have, you know, kind of the Pandora style. Uh, we've got wear. <clears throat> but the charms look like in pretty good shape. Uh, this one. 
All right, maybe they thought with the stork and the palm tree. I don't, or these aren't storks; they're uh, flamingos. <laughs> Hello, mm. um, but the beads are nice, so this will probably end up in a like a, a crafty bracelet lot. Ooh, <clears throat> excuse me. Okay, I'm gonna say this is still new. This has got a piece of something in the middle here. Look at this. That's some bling going on there. That's got some, yeah. <laughs> That's a sparkle. Wow. That'd be a nice evening out, like if you were going to go to dinner and to like a casino, have a really nice kind of flashy time. Oh, it looks like. You hear the dogs. I don't think we have one video without the dogs. Um, looks like some beautiful rose quartz. It's a glass bee. Little key. Nice stretch. Beautiful. <clears throat> These look like aventurine and lightweight charms. Uh, this and look how tiny. Oh, that's tiny. Uh, I'd say take these for the uh, the stones. the The charms are you know, eh, they're not great quality, but I'd take it for the the stones. Those are cute. Okay, these are hematite. Okay. Just a regular silver tone clasp. Uh, and some, definitely some little uh, stone chips here. That's a cute little piece. It looks like somebody made this. And we have glass beads. <clears throat> I think somebody wore this with an inch of its life. Um, yeah. I. It still has some stretch, but it looks like we have little bit of spacing going on. I think it would be fine to wear still, but great for beads. Oh, these are ceramic. Well, oh, those are cute. Cute little wooden uh, birds. Those are cute. I know now the dog needs out. We've got one more bracelet. Hold on. Yeah. And I'll go <laughs> let her out. Okay, this looks fashion. And she's getting impatient now. And this looks like these might be <clears throat> like peridot, like chips all put in together. That is a cute piece. All right, this next group looks like all necklaces. Okay, I'm not sure why this is boho. This looks like more of a classic design. You have your acrylic beads. You know, it's a nice necklace. It just, I'm not sure what's boho about it. Okay, now this is more boho. Mm -hmm. Some beautiful wooden beads. Triple strand. That I think this would be great for spring and fall. Oh, clunk it. Uh, this has got clunk ability. Yeah. Let me turn it around. Some beautiful wooden beads. Yeah. And then this is like a resin or... I think this is two-part. I think we've got wood on the top and I think we have this resin on the bottom to stabilize it. A lot of nice pieces on that one. Wow. Oh, oh dear. Yeah. Oh, oh dear. Um, well, all right. Okay, <laughs> we have wooden beads. And you know, if you stopped it here, <laughs> um, okay, I like I like I like pigs and all, but gang, look at this. Okay, okay we have the, the third. I don't. Um, okay. Linkability. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, we have like the hear no evil, see no evil set of three really heavy pigs. The three little pigs. Oh. Oh, um, okay, well, there's that. Um, oh dear, okay. I, I think I would take those off and just put them on my windowsill. I oh, pigs. <laughs> I like the pigs. I don't know if I like the pigs. Little bitty pig. <laughs> on the necklace. Okay. Okay, well, all right. Hey, to each their own. Somebody will absolutely love that no, necklace. There's, there's a lot of pig lovers out yeah, there. Yeah, I mean, I love pigs. I just, then they're heavy pigs. Have you ever known to be a light pig? 
no, no, I have not. I'll uh, get in trouble for that. Oh, dear. Okay, moving on, moving on, moving on before we get in trouble. These are all acrylic. Really, this is a fun piece. That That's just full on fun. All right, we have pigs. What are these? Oh. Okay, this is a take on the ones that we usually find that are the really big, chunky wooden pieces. And these are flat, so they're like definitely easier to wear. They'll lay on your body a little easier. And they're some form of, I don't know, maybe polymer, polymer perhaps, but that's fun too. Take, take it for pieces. Okay, these are acrylic. Again, <clears throat> lighter weight, easy to wear. I think this would have been awesome in the fall, but because they're jewel tones, you can get away with wearing that all year long. Oh, this is longer. Okay, copper tone color. Copper tone. Copper tone wooden beads. Okay, now the dog needs in. That's okay. You look at that last piece. I'll <laughs> take it to excuse the noise of the door. Ay, yay ay. She knows we're filming. I am never more in demand in this house, either when I'm on the phone or when I'm filming. Okay, the cute little shark's tooth. It's a little bigger than the last one we found. We're getting a nice little collection of those. Oh, I like that one. Ah, I thought so. Let me see that one. <laughs> it's going to end up going no. on the... I'll put it back in. I got too many hanging up in there. Mm -hmm. anyway. Okay, these look like stone. Fruity pebbles. <clears throat> they do. Uh, but these are acrylic. Hmm. A little lighter weight. Great piece. <clears throat> All right, so... Um, okay, I think it's going to go like this. Okay, somebody took a lot of time, or it could be a commercial piece, but man, oh man, look at all of these seed beads. You have the multi-strand down here. I do not have patience for that. No, good grief. Look at wow. this. Wow. So, That's a lot of work. And beautiful colors. Yes. And great layering piece. Mm. You great with some turquoise <clears throat> jewelry. Absolutely. Speaking of which... Oh. <laughs> Okay, this is like dyed halite, gang, but look how long. La, 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 still going. Look at this. Okay, if this isn't your style, look at all of these beads. Gang, that is one. Those would be some good accent beads if you make something else. Oh, man. Bracelets. Look how many bracelets you could make with that thing. Okay, and this is very quintessential boho. We have the wooden... We have ceramic. These are cool woven beads. I mean, now tell me that's not funky fun. Mm. Loving that too. Yeah, that's cool. Next bag. Wow, we're flying. And if I haven't said it yet, boy, do I thank my mom. There is a lot of work that goes into working with these. This is a nice little rosary that someone has made. Uh, these beads have like this little bit of a mosaic going on with different colors. Don't see anything on the cross. Looks like a fashion cross. Beautiful little piece. Then we move to, oh, what's this? It okay, looks like, hang on, I got stuff. Okay, listen, look, again, I've got a tag. Let's see who this is. Doesn't say who it is, but they wanted 650 seed beads. And a little, not sure what this is. that supposed to be like a, no, like a turtle maybe with the legs and the tail? Maybe. I'm going to say like a turtle, yeah. Yeah, with the little underbelly. Cute. How, well, you know what? Oh, yeah, look at the face right on the front of it. Oh, see? And the little eyeballs. Yeah. Cute. That's a cute little piece. Mm -hmm. All right, now these two. Could be a hedgehog. Could be anything along the Oh, that's belly. right. It could be, huh? It could hmm. be anything you want it to be. Anything you want it to be. Uh -uh. It's a hope beetle. <laughs> it's a hope beetle. That's cute. Yeah, I don't see a mark, but boy, are these nice quality. Got the necklace and the matching bracelet. <clears throat> That's a nice little set. Definitely have to keep that together so that I don't get separated. Okay, it looks like someone, again, is wooden beads. 
a little fashion cross. Very reminiscent of a rosary. Is this one it too? No, this one's just a regular. Seed bead, wooden bead. Like tiny little coconuts. You know, and again, I don't have the patience for that. Mm. Okay, we have dyed shell. That blue jean blue. Don't see that. I've seen a lot of pink, a lot of white. Speaking of white. These have the mother of pearl. Some like glass frosted beads. That's a nice little piece right there. A lot of nice extra. Okay, we have a plastic. Marble, you know, marble collection. You know. Yeah. So, I mean, oh. they made it look like stone, which is nice because it's much lighter than had these actually been stone beads. But they're they're just painted beads, but yeah. it has a nice color to that's, it. That's a nice variety. Like a suit, you mean it is much lighter. Mm -hmm. I mean, you could wear that all day. A real stone necklace can really... It can wear you down. Uh, I don't see a clasp. Okay, this one looks like an endless piece. We have some beautiful glass beads. We have some stone beads. Um, with the luster, I think even the seed beads are probably glass beads. Nice color. Oh, that's Easter. I think Easter colors right there. Let's see. Hmm. This is very fall. Oh, so it looks like I've got it in the fall collection. I like it. Well, let's see, September of 2019. So, yeah, yeah should have been definitely in the fall. A lot of glass beads. Some of these look like artisan beads. C ceramic beads. And this great little drop. Wow, that's a hunk of glass right there. And then your drop. Wow. Okay, this is a, that is definitely quite a piece right there. Ooh, so is this one. I can tell you already, I love these beads. We have had these beads in a couple of colors, but they usually, at least the ones we have found, have been in that fall kind of range, that beautiful amber color. Wow, look how long this is. It's still coming, gang. Look at this pile of beads. Uh, so if this is not your thing, uh, mm -hmm, a lot of beautiful things you could make out of that. That's gorgeous. And this one, okay, this one has both acrylic and chips. Nice little layering piece. I think this would go great with several of the pieces we've seen already. Okay, don't see a clasp. These are glass. Christmassy. It does. <laughs> looks very Christmassy. A lot of seasonal type, generally. Yeah, really. Probably should have opened this box earlier. Mm. <laughs> Some nice beads in here. Really nice beads. It's your after season. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, okay, now this. These are not. These are not pretend. This is a heavy piece here. Okay, black always gets me. Um, these are either going to be glass, have to really look in the middle here, or they're going to be some side of onyx or tourmaline. And then we have nice big pieces here. These look like probably, they don't look like adventuring to me. They look like dyed agate. And then you have this nice little drop here. And that is a nice, look at how big that is. Carnelian. It could also be dyed agate, but that is a hefty, hefty piece right there. Okay. This is kind of cute. All right, with the clasp the way it is here, this is going to be worn to the side instead of in the middle. This is going to be worn to the side like that. Well, hmm. Turquoise is really is really difficult, but you know what? This has got some great matrix going on. These could actually be real. So 
That is a that's a nice piece and with a very interesting closure. Ugh, trumpet is that what that one is called? Something like that, but nice piece. And so is this one. Okay, gang, I think we have no maker, doesn't say anything on there. Again, I think we might have some real turquoise. Looks like some beautiful amethyst. And look at this piece down here. I think we've got some nice turquoise, gang. That that was a great bag. Ooh, I bet you had fun with these. But they, I bet these were in love with each other. All right. Um, you know how I feel about eh, ribbon, but I am digging this glass heart. I love that the bales off to the side. That's nice. I like that. That's different. We've seen our share of glass, much like here. Let me, okay, again with the. Eh, I'm gonna, but you know, this is more reminiscent of what you see with the art pieces. Pretty colors. That'd be beautiful for spring too. Okay, we've got the silk board. And the trilogy. Okay, now this this is quintessential boho. This is a lot of what we find. Beautiful enameling. This piece is fabulous. I don't see a hang tag. These are in really nice shape. That's beautiful. That is a keeper. All right, and then we get into. Armatron. Okay, pink and black. Him. And well, you know what? This bag has had its share of uh, religious pieces. And then. <laughs> oh, that's cute. And then you go to. Oh, it's a it's a locket. Okay, the hamburger. So, cheeseburger. Cheese that cheeseburger. Hey. That cheeseburger enameling is cute. And then you have that little tiny locket capability. And it's a pretty long fashion chain. That is adorable. <laughs> All right, who wouldn't love that? Oh, okay, now this is really sad. We have Anna's necklace. Oh. Well, it's not engraved or anything. No, it could be just somebody's name tag. You know, like you can go get everybody's name on yeah. it. Yeah. It just, you know, identify. Maybe not specifically yeah. for someone. It's just a... Let's hope not, because like that's your, always sad. You know, like the little license plate you get for your bike that <laughs> have your name on it. You know? There you go. All right, these two. Okay. I read. I think this is one of those where you could have filled it. No, I don't think so. I don't think there's a way to open that. Okay, well, there's this cute little, these both look like, you know, kind of like Claire's. And this little horse, little enameling. Those are cute. And, oh, a fossil watch. You know, that's not in bad shape. Mm. Two-tone. Eh, oh, okay, somebody loved it. We've got some wear down here. Not bad, though. Yeah. We don't see too many watches anymore. All right. Let's do the crinkling. Yeah, let's dump this out. Oh, these are huge. Okay. Oh. Let's do the crinkle. Get the bag set up. There <laughs> we go. Okay. You can tell when somebody loved something a lot. There's so much wear going on with uh, these and with the clasp somebody absolutely enjoyed this and you know it's not that it's in really bad shape I think somebody could still enjoy that the color is gorgeous these oh some form of plastic these are pretty heavy but the coloring is gorgeous and if you don't care for it this way I think the color of these beads yeah you could figure out something to do with those oh dear all right, hang on. Oh, there you go. Woohoo! 
Can we do this one first? No, I'm just going to pull that out of the way for you if we're going to do the other one. Oh, okay, because you can tell already these, are, these aren't friends with anybody. Or really, they were friends with everybody. Uh, nice big hunks of dyed shell. Beautiful colors. This would be great for spring. I would not recommend wearing this with another piece of jewelry, though, unless it is much shorter. Um, these are going to catch on everything. So definitely more of a standalone piece, but then that's why it's bigger. It can hold its own. Okay, this is the piece it was loving. Some gorgeous enameling. We do have some articulation going on here. Here's the back. Not marked. I would think somebody would want to put their name on that. That's beautiful. Oh, I don't know. Have... Well, okay, you're gonna get the i. You're gonna get the idea <laughs> of what this looks like. Um, yeah. Okay. Okay, this is. Uh, it was kind of a mess. All right, we have acrylic, and we have these cute little geometric shapes with the rhinestones. Um, very, reminds me of like disco-esque, something we certainly would have worn in the 80s. Um, 70s. Yeah, but in the 80s, we I had that know. revival of, you know, all things, you know, kind of fray, you know, that fringy, yeah. kind of almost moving into the 90s with grunge, but this is more upscale. Wow. But, you know, it's in really, it's in really good shape, I think. It's just kind of, it needs to be, you know, everything straight. We don't got time for that today, but you get the idea. But nice. We took these things out of the press and seal ahead of time. Nice long. This looks like a fashion uh, map and then a little chili pepper. So I'm going to say that's got something to do with um, touristy, something like that. Uh, the mist says it says Jamaica Plains, Boston. I wonder if they had like a chili festival or something yeah. there. So Jamaica Plains and Boston. Alrighty then. The mist and her wonderful eagle eyes. I can see that. <laughs> well, okay. How cool is that? All right, those of you who have the asymmetry thing going on, you're not going to love this one. Uh, these are on the side, like uh, going to be on your decollete. And then the very bottom, we have these two little cute hearts. So that's cute. All right, this is, oh, that's adorable. All right, looks like we have, well, whether or not it is, let me get this really quick. Hey, we may have some liquid silver. We'll have to test it. It has great patina. And then this cute little mother of pearl heart. So we'll check that for silver. Oh, that's pretty too. I've already made a knot. It looks like a pretty standard chain, but wow. That's a beautiful slice. And it has the you know, the silver, either paint or the actual silver gilding. That's a pretty piece, too. Okay, now boho would not be boho without our spirit animal. Wow. Listen, he is uh, hefty. I love the eyes. That's gorgeous. Oh, so is this. Okay, again with like the brass tone. With the green crystal in the middle. Don't see a mark on this one either. Pretty. Ooh, tiny. Okay, I'm not. Okay, I'm going to say probably not silver. Cute little, I mean, I'm, we're talking little gang. Wow. Little bracelet. <laughs> it's almost like a you know, child and infant style bracelet. Yeah, the, yeah, that's definitely that size. Exactly. Uh, mm. Okay. Uh, mm. Okay, you're going to get the idea. This is one of those that multi-layer, multi... -layer, multi <laughs> 
Yeah, and it just keeps the drop keeps going. So this is the bottom, and then, well, this is all kind of a jumbled mess, but you get the idea. Gold tone, looks new, really pretty, dainty. Very dainty. Nice. Very dainty. This is a nice look. Here we have this locket. I know lots of folks want to see what the inside looks like. So here's the inside. Looks pretty clean. Little scratching. I mean, oh, it has a little dent. But after being in the boxes, oh. Uh, yeah, I mean, you cannot uh, escape without some kind of blemish. Okay. Uh, we have 12 karat gold filled for the chain. I don't really see anything on the locket, but <clears throat> it was in the in the wrap for a reason. Oh, I always like to see these little hang tags. Usually they have something on them. Let's take a look. This one does not. But it has some great patina, so we're going to end up testing, well, you know, anything that kind of looks like anything we test, so. Um, hmm. All right, gang. Mom has a great eye. Of course, this is in plastic wrap. Looks like CA925, and this looks like rose quartz surrounded by amethyst. I do not think this classic styling came on this chain but the chain's okay so we will test that out see if that is in fact silver and multi-strand we know why this was in plastic wrap these these are friends with everybody press and seal, uh, press and seal. Okay, we've got two more out of the press and seal. Oh, our, our lovely, you know, my favorite illusion wire. But these are glass, so that would make some beautiful beads. And then this piece, they have, because it is definitely illusion wire, uh, with seed beads and two nice glass pieces. So that was the press and seal. Okay, I love my mother, this is hilarious. This is a big mess. <laughs> All right, I can tell you already, this is multi-strand. It has a ton of beads and feathers. So we're not even going to, yeah, we're not going to do it any, you know, past that. So this is a big old mess. I know, right? Not too many earrings. Um, Boho doesn't tend to have a ton of earrings. These are matching. So let's, Take a look really quick. All right, beautiful triangles. They're gorgeous. I like faux turquoise. I mean, these are fashion. Let's see. Like some glass beads. Nice little dangles on like the brass. And again, these these have how light, dyed how light. Those are pretty. Oh, there's the other one of those. We have shell. Oh, we have some older style clip earrings. Just some very basic little brass. And uh, oh. We have blue goldstone beads. Oh, with the articulation here on the bottom. Oh, that's cute. Those are adorable. Okay, that was it, gang, for the matching earrings. The other bag has singles. Let me grab that one. Singles. Let's take a quick peruse into this. Ugh. Okay, I am not a fan of feathers. Okay, we have some pretty typical looking 
earrings. A lot of acrylic. There's a shell. Statement. Oh, this looks like Corella DeVille. How cute is that? Oh, that'd be a nice pendant. That's a cute little one. Nothing like, you know, overly stands out. But, oh, that's cute too. The little owl. All right, well, a couple of nice little pieces. A little carved shell. Oh, feels like glass, doesn't feel like stone. Then the little Corilla DeVille. But other than that, some pretty typical earrings. Broken and bottom of the box. I just weighed this. This was two pounds, 11 plus ounces. And looks like we have acrylic. We have seed beads. The beautiful uh, statement. Looks like some opalite. Looks like some pretty good sized pieces. Oh, enameling. Got a little bit of everything in this. Uh, looks like some shell. Ugh. And this looks like bottom of the box. A lot of loose little beads here. Okay, so, um, you know, a little less than three pounds in broken and bottom of box. Everybody's favorites: rings, pins, and miscellaneous. We got things flying. Okay, to start with, wow. Look at the, holy heck, look at this big crystal. Looks like, um, there. I don't think there's any way this thing was a pendant. This is probably off of something else, but look at that. How beautiful is that? Looks like a homemade feather brooch. That's beautiful. This is icing 850. This is a pin and a hair clip. This is a pin, a little bit of wear, but not too, too bad. A little brooch. I'm not sure what this little dangly bit may be off of a necklace. Uh, the Mockingbird series, that movie series. Cute little brass ring. Looks like magnesite. Um, doesn't have the, quite the webbing for how light. Okay, little stretch ring. Very nice. Looks like a little pendant. A wooden pendant. A couple more rings. Looks like a man-made opal. And looks like artisan crafted. That is kind of neat. Has that manly hammered uh. kind of thing going on there. Again, part of a something. Uh. A something, something. Nice carved shell. Uh, this has a great look to it. So we'll have to look a little closer at that. Okay. This looks still more like that, um, the mockingbird thing I had. Kind of has the same look. So I wonder if that came off of something. Another homemade pin. That's beautiful. Good grief. 
poke your eye out. Man, okay, this is one of the... I don't even have a long enough finger. This has got to be a man's ring. Yeah, like costume or something. I mean, that thing is heavy. Feel how heavy that is. Yeah. It's way too... <laughs> I, you gotta have some seriously long, long very long skinny fingers yes because that's not working for me either okay and then this one looks like et doesn't that look like et okay this is not quite as long but still wow okay so these two some interesting stuff here look at that one was a like et how cute is that hmm. uh this is lightweight <laughs> I poke my eye out. See, there you go. Uh, some kind of... Mm, doesn't really feel like shell. Has a great look. Probably plastic. But it's a good size. That thing is huge. And, oh, okay, I say huge, and then here this comes. Okay, it's like a, an elephant. A little bit of... I'm not sure. It, it's not like enameling, but that's different. That is very different. A Hindi. Yeah, it does look like that, doesn't it? Yeah. Okay, yeah. we have some stuff. Okay, I'm not not sure what this came off of, but it's a little enameled. I wonder if this was a bracelet or maybe a, like a purse charm something like that but you get that and then no, just, just, oh, I'll get a clip, roach clip yeah. tie tack or tie, tie, tie <laughs> clip we'll say that in tie, hit tie, uh, tie, okay. <laughs> tie clip yeah. yeah in the 80s that would have had a much different uh, idea yeah, yeah. Um, oh we have this now that one looks like a fishing lure I'm sorry it, it Okay, so they got we, a tie wrap with the tag. Okay, I'm like, what? They tie wrap the danglies together? Okay, at Pottery Barn, this is $6, y'all. Mm, a squid. It looks like a squid. I'm I'm sure it is a beautiful uh, Christmas ornament. Yes. But um, it really kind of looks like a squid. And it has some... Issues. Yeah, it has a few issues. But look at the beads. I mean, you could take that for beads. So, gang, that was the rings, pins, and miscellaneous. And if you can believe it or not, marked pieces. This is the last group for this box. Thank goodness she does all this for us. It makes it go so much faster. Kenneth Cole. These are heavy as all get out. Here is his little name tag. These are like coated blocks of stone or, you know, a man-made material. But they kind of look like they have the stone features. So that's a hefty piece. That's Kenneth Cole. Hot fashion made in China. Okay. Uh, glass, beautiful beads. So we've got the earrings and this necklace. That's a glass. Those feel like acrylic. And then a nice Murano style. That's nice to see open and the square. And again with glass down here. So that's a nice little piece right there. Even if you don't like the piece, that's great for beads. This just says handmade. Okay, so we have this leather cord and kind of like this open work so you can see the leather going through it. Oh, that's interesting. It'd be a good layering piece it's if nothing like else. It's like uh, a Chinese finger, you know, where you got the... Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Oh, Tesca! Yeah, okay. This this brand has some very interesting styling. I think it's kind of um, a lot. You, you either really, really dig it or you, you don't. I mean, it's kind of a very brutalist. Industrialist. Yeah, it does. 
it's a nice shape. Yeah. I mean, if, if you like this style, this is a beautiful shape. So, all right, hey. Ooh, another nice heavy piece. Who is this? But it's cool looking out. Oh, Express. Okay, this is Express. We have like glass beads, some more glass beads, and this really big heavy tassel. Nice shape. Great layering piece. You put this with a nice gold necklace and you've got a look. Okay, more Lion's Gate. Now you guys all saw these movies, the yeah. um, Hunger Games. Yeah, Hunger Games. Um, that's not my genre. <laughs> I know. Okay, so, but it looks like in really good shape. Yeah. So now we have that. Well, why don't um, you keep that here with the rest of them as they come out? Oh, is that what this all is too? Yeah. You can, well, I'm saying you can keep it together. So okay. Hang on. They can see the collection of what you've got all in here. Okay, so we had a brooch earlier. All right, so now we have this necklace. Looks like a, a flower. Is it a torch? Oh, it's a torch. That's right, because she yeah. 2013 Lionsgate. Yeah, it's so. a torch. That's right, because okay. that's what. Yeah, yeah, that's the what chariots, they carry. Yeah, and the chariots All are right. their torches. Yeah. All right. Well, they all have the same marking, so yeah. I know there was more than one movie. So. I don't know what this is. It moves, whatever this is. Like a um, globe or something. You know, to me that... You know, I don't know what that right. is. Okay, and then we have another one of these. Okay, so we have three of these necklaces and then this torch. And then we have this bracelet. We have the brooch. Uh, in the rings and miscellaneous stuff, and then whatever that is. Yeah, I'm not sure what that is. So, I don't know what this is. But Somebody will know. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, hey, you know, we have this collection. If anybody's, <laughs> if anybody's in love with this movie. Or if you have kids who are, here's a nice little collection for them to get started with. There you go. Well, that's cool. All right. Mm. That loft. Okay, still with tags, still together, twenty six fifty. Beautiful black enamel. Okay, so there's that. Clunk. You and I. Me and you. Um, you know, this one has some beautiful pieces, but it also has some damage. So this is probably going to end up in craft. Okay, this one is still Claire's for fourteen fifty. You know, Claire's is like getting a big head here, gang. I mean, we're talking um, some cord and some cheapy rhinestones um, and uh, fabric for fourteen fifty. Dang. Well, with a Canada tag on it, though, then you got to figure that up. Well. Into it as well, you know. Plunder. Okay, this looks in very nice shape too. Yeah, that other one earlier that had that same look. Yeah. Hmm. But this one's marked. I guess the other one wasn't. No, because on the the clasp yeah. was plain. Yeah. But hey, that's pretty. Oh, uh, somebody told me. And I can't remember, gang. I'm sorry. Someone told me what this was. Um, dang it. But, you know, uh, like worry beads that you can carry these oh. with you. A little easier than a, a full rosary. Right. Hmm. But she said the name, and I'm so sorry. I have... I can see that. Yeah, you can hold on your finger, and you kind of have like mm -hmm. this prayer bead kind of a thing. Dang it. I wish I could remember. Somebody write down in the comment. I'm going to write it down again. I know I've got it written down. Uh, B C B G. They have some funky things. This hurts. Jewel like a fish spine. Okay, jewel <laughs> jewelry should not hurt, gang. And, <laughs> um, I'm so. But this, ow! Here, feel that. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah, this is this is quite pokey. 
Um, okay, it's. I like the design. I. You cannot wear this with anything that you could puncture. Okay, that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And Gumby can wear it. Yeah. Okay. The. You know. Yeah. You know. Okay, now you're going to comment on that. Huh? No. Gummy, that's, pokey. Yeah. Jewelry should not hurt. Yeah. It should not hurt you. Oh, that just went boom right over. Okay. <laughs> okay, I got it. Um, LC. Uh, I wish this was in better shape. Uh, this is a really interesting bracelet. It's very heavy. It slides on these metal pieces. But you can tell somebody really enjoyed it. Someone could still enjoy it. I bet it polishes up beautifully. But it does have some wear. A nice heavy piece. LC. And getting down to the nitty gritty. Okay, we have charms. We have this rhinestone bunny. And we have the tag by Betsy Johnson. So we have these great glass beads and the funky um, charm to a dog. Yeah, leaves, the miscellaneous charms. Leaves, yeah. It's like some kind of a beetle. No, it's a dog or a fox or a cat. It's a cat, okay. Cute. Interesting. It's got some cute stuff, but hey, Betsy Johnson, I like her stuff. All right, again, we are down to the nitty gritty. And if these are separate, I'm going to say there's something nice. Let's see a mark right off. Oh, this is um, 925 in the MC, so this is a Marsala piece. Well, we'll go ahead and make sure. But this has the floating heart. We'll check to make sure it's silver, but it's tension. Tension bracelet. That's beautiful. And let's see what, let's see what this is. PPC 14 karat gold filled. All right, so that's a nice look to it. Give you that one. And our last piece. Oh, some pearls. These are beautiful. Hello already. Pearls are fabulous. Loving this. I mean, that is gorgeous. Oh, Silpata. Nice. In a boho box. Okay, gang. Look at these beautiful pearls. This great little accent detail here on the side. And that. Oh, I love that. Silpata is a very good seller. They have beautiful quality. Um, that was a way to end the box. Mm. Gorgeous. All right, gang, that was our 16-pound boho box. As always, if you see anything you like, just send me a message, agedgoodness uh, at AOL.com, and happy to tell you if something's available, the size and whatnot on it. Thank you so much for spending time with us. We really appreciate you being here. Thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing. Thank you for the mister for helping me out today. Uh -huh. <laughs> Until next time, gang, take care. Be safe. We'll see you soon.